Man, I tell you it's hot. It is hot. Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nate or Tater channel. Today I'm going to show you my wood sauna. And this is down at the pond. So, you know, the previous owner built this pond house and he goes out swimming in the pond. At least in the summertime right now, it's a little bit chilly. It's about 25 degrees Fahrenheit here in Michigan. So my pond is actually all frozen over. But, uh, so I'm carrying water here from the house for the, the water tank. So let me show you the pond house here and then I'll go inside and I'll show you how the stove is set up and how the sauna room is set up and then how to get it going and um, how to enjoy it. All right, here we go into the pond house. And over here, we have a little changing area and towel rack. And then inside here, we have the sauna. And so this room is about eight feet by 12 feet. And then it has a little bench here and a couple seats down here. It's got a simple little thermometer that obviously is not really set up well for cold temperatures. So it's really made for the higher temps of a sauna. So it's definitely not uh, 80 degrees in here. But it's got a little window there for, um, you know, having a uh, vent and air circulation as you need it. And then it's got a stove. And so this stove is a NIPA stove, N-I-P-P-A. And it's just a, a simple um, wood burning stove here uh, that you fire up like any other stove or fireplace. And then it's got some rocks on top and the, the rocks, um, you know, obviously take in the heat of the stove and then that, that allows you to pour water on it. Now, this stove does have a little extra piece here and this is a water tank. And so this water tank has two ports that go over to this, uh, this other uh, tank that's attached directly to the stove. And the point of this is this heats up the water and then naturally because of the, um, the temperature difference, this hot water rises and comes out here and it circulates. And you actually see that when I uh, fire it up, the cold water will it'll start this little um, the circulation loop and all this stuff will heat up and then this water tank will actually um, you know add some humidity to this room. Um, now you can also take water um, scoops and put them over the rocks or actually use my um, garden watering pail to, to do that as well. So I'll, I'll show you that. And now obviously the reason he had this set up, you know, he has this little drain set up here from a shower drain. Now so he could shower off or, or rinse off after swimming in the pond. Um, and so, you know, after obviously water, you can't leave it in here for winter time. So after I'm done with it, I open the valve and just let it drain out here. So let me get the fire started, uh, get this guy warmed up and I'll show you um, how that how that goes and how long it takes. All right, so this um, pond house and this sauna, um, they're about uh, 20 uh, years old, I think 23 years old exactly. Um, but obviously it's in pretty good shape, it works. There's not a lot of maintenance to it. Um, it's out here in the winter, it's not climate controlled, but let me get it going, get it fired up here. Okay, so what I do do is I use a couple cheater sticks. So these are, um, you know, fire sticks that are soaked in um, an oil or something that, that has a, a continuous slow burn. I use some paper, I use some of these fire sticks, and then I move a couple scrap pieces to get it started, and then I start going straight to the, uh, the firewood. Okay, I got it loaded up here with all this paper and wood. So I'll get it going here. So it's a little hard to see, but there is some baffling up there so that the uh, heat out of this fire doesn't go just straight up the chimney. It has to baffle around. Um, and the goal there is to obviously heat up the water out back and then also heat up the um, the rocks up above and, and the stove in general. So let me go ahead and 
pour another thing of water in this water tank while this starts to burn. All right, so here's some more water. And you gotta fill it up enough so that at least it goes above the, um, the upper tube so you get the circulation going. Otherwise, it, it won't circulate. So but basically, I put a lot of wood in there, I loaded it up. So now I just gotta give it some time, let it heat up. You know, it takes um, at least an hour. In this case, you know, this is a little bit of a bigger sauna. Um, and so it, it's at least an hour. Typically I'll wait an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how cold it is outside. So uh, right now I'll uh, start the timer and I'll find out how long it takes for you guys. Okay guys, so it's fired up. You can see the chimney up there, letting out the smoke. So let me give it an hour or two. All right, everyone, it's been about 45 minutes of heating up. So the stove now is, let's see, it's about 360 degrees. So the stove's certainly hot, um, but the room hasn't quite warmed up yet. If I do a temperature here, looks like 83 degrees on the wall here. So not too warm yet, definitely not a sauna. Now, if I look at the water, the water heats up pretty quick because it's you know directly up against that 350 degree stuff. So that one's 144 degrees. So hot enough now where you don't want to touch that water and it, it will get um, boiling uh, for sure. But let me give it another 45 minutes here to, to f heat up and I want to get it, you know, um, the temperature really 170, 190 Fahrenheit is where you'd ideally like um, to have it. You don't really want to go over um, 200 degrees in here. All right. so. I do have uh, some water in this, uh, this garden bucket. I'm just gonna put a little bit on that there. That obviously is gonna release a lot of that heat. Obviously that's 350 degrees. And now I'm gonna release a lot of that heat into here. And let's just see here what this is. You know, so they're 130 degrees. So they're not really all the way warmed up yet but uh, that will help get this room a little bit warmer. You can see now, at least in that area, you know, we've, we've jumped up uh, 30 degrees. Okay, it's next to impossible to keep this thing from fogging up in here because it's warm, but uh, it's been about an hour and a half. And uh, this guy is now, you can hear it, the water is boiling in there. I'm going to um, get a temperature read. It's not quite up to full temp just yet, but um, let me show you what it is at. So the fireplace is still right at the, uh, the 300, 350 mark. The actual walls, everything's all foggy now. The wall is about 150 degrees. Whew. So it's hot once you stand up. Let me uh, put a little water on this guy. Get the heat to come up. Whew. That's a blast of hot air there. Now, you can look inside here. You know, I only have those three pieces of uh, wood. That's about what I find is the right amount. You know, towards this end um, of the wood life is about when I come in and then I just let it uh, burn itself out over the next hour or so. But, uh, so three pieces of wood, though it takes pretty quick to, um, to set up. You just have to plan for that, you know, two hours in advance, set it in there. I went and had lunch. Now I come in here, throw some water on it, close the door up really well. And uh, this place heats up pretty quick. My wife said I'm absolutely not allowed to take my shirt off and show you guys my six pack, which I have nicely insulated in here. So I'm gonna stay fully closed for you guys. But I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna relax for a little bit, get my sweat on.
All right, you can hear the water bubbling away back there. It's boiling. So you know that stuff's at least 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the walls are a little colder with my um, my infrared thermometer, but the air is certainly hot. I mean, it's got to be at least 160, uh, 170 in here. Didn't take but a couple minutes to get really the full blown sweat going. And so now I'm just going to stay in here for a little while and let that, um, you know, sweat and relaxation just lean back and, and enjoy it. So I really like these saunas. Uh, they're nice. It obviously takes a little bit of a prep work. And, um, but I like the smell of the wood as well. The wood burning is really nice. They make electric ones and, and I've considered that, you know, obviously you can just flip it on and I'd probably tie it into my smart home. I'd have, um, you know, a switch that I could toggle and tell it to turn on and then I'd go down there in an hour and, and hop in and I wouldn't have to deal with, with wood and whatnot. But as often as I, as I do it, the wood's kind of a nice feature actually and uh, gives me uh, a chance to relax. Whew. Man, I tell you it's hot. It is hot. Here's all I open that door into the rest of this little pond house down here just to cool down and I kind of take it in stages. So I go from that hot sauna to in this little room here, which obviously drops the temperature drastically before I head outside and, and really freeze. Uh, you thought it looked cold when I was coming down here dry. Wait till you have a soaking wet uh, body and shirt and you gotta walk up to the house. So I like it. It's a way to cool off. I appreciate all you guys that actually stuck to the end to watch it. You know, um, you can comment in there, freezing Michigan. And that way I know that you guys watched all the way to the end. Thank you. Have a good time.